So this is coming from Heart Blood, Chapter 5, entitled, Nature is the Voice of Karma. You're saying, the public is no friend of genius. The genius is neither a friend of the public nor a friend of its spokesman, the low spirit critic, or those who hound after creative works in order to demonize them or their creators. And my question is, is there anything to be said about critics and when and when not uh, should one consider their input? If you are deeply involved in the creative, then that becomes the reality for you. When you are not as deeply involved in the creative, then sometimes what's happening outside becomes your reality. See, what others say, what others do, what the public thinks and so on. So those are your masters then. If you have a contact with the inner properly, the master is in there. So, and it's light and truth is brighter than everything else uh, when you get there uh, and it uses you as a channel of light and it's really more the outflow than what you're taking in because you know you don't really know who you are or what your real value is or what your real worth is or whether or not you're you're too let's say critical or too not critical enough as part of your development would warrant you to develop your stuff to a degree of perfection which once you're there you don't have to worry about it or who criticizes it or whether it's ever criticized but it is what it is in a manner of speaking hmm. comment hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah so so when uh when some someone is so deeply rooted in their in their inner being their inner space well, we don't we don't mean egoically mm, right, right. rooted right that's the problem. That's worth criticizing when it's egoic. See, but when it's from the deeper, mm -hmm. see, the heart, let's say, the, the mystical heart, which has its own tone, its own presence, it has more to do with healing than just impression you know, or uh, appearance. Mm -hmm. then we're talking about two different realities. The ego is always going to be suffering criticism, self-criticism or other criticism, because that's the nature of the ego, to feel and reinforce separateness. See? Division, see? conflict, duality in itself, liking, disliking, but uh, we're not talking about that here. We're talking about the deeper, the true deeper, which is wholeness, integration, and what we would call to add to that is like a sense of harmony, peace, and maybe at the deepest end, bliss. See? And that's the bliss of creation and creativity. And it's something you merge into like a, 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 a bath, right? A warm water bath. You slip into it, and it's pretty much taking care of the rest. You just need to relax and enjoy it. Know, know it's working for you. But you don't have to do anything. Just enjoy the warmth. The warmth is inside. So people have to get there. And they try every trick in the book right, to get there. Or you can start to be what that is. See, as if you're already there. See, that's the direct way. That's the highest path. 